Hi, and welcome back to another episode of How to Hack. So today we are on a more advanced topic of wireless attack. So we're going to set up a rope access point using Wi-Fi Pineapple. And then from there, we're going to launch a Color Linux machine. And within the Color Linux machine, we are going to enable a browser exploitation framework. So what's really interesting about wireless attack is that in any access point that you access into, whether you're on an airport or whether you're connected to any Wi-Fi, access points, you realize that there is a landing page or an authentication page to actually get your authorization. They're asking for your usernames, they're asking for your password, and then from there, all your or any of your personally identifiable information, and then you will be able to authorize internet accesses through that access point. So we are mimicking that form of attack by forcing users to enter their Facebook username and password or it could be any other authentication form. It could be their mobile numbers. It could be their personally identifiable information. And many of those information that you want access into, you can build up a huge HTML page that have those accesses, pump those information into Call Linux or using existing security platforms to help you further and escalate those attacks. And this will bypass completely on any antivirus systems because it's built to attack and hijack against browsers. So let's begin the tutorial today. So over here, I have connected Pineapple access point and we have to go to 172.16421 and then of course at port 1471 and we'll be able to access the Wi-Fi Pineapple. So again, uh, same as the previous tutorial that you have learned, there are two wireless access points that we have. So wireless network connection is connected to my home internet access and then of course we got Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi is connected to Pineapple so that we are able to access into the Pineapple console. So once you have furnished the internet connection, you're able to get all the bulletin updates about Wi-Fi Pineapple. And at the same time, I've been running a lot of testing and we can see a huge load of statistics being loaded by Wi-Fi Pineapple. And going down, we can go to Pine Access Point, Pine AP, and we have a lot of association and we have enabled the Pine AP daemon to be running. And here is our list of SSID access pool. So the list of SSID access pool allowed us to actually furnish those SSID onto the internet. So for example, whether I'm on Wi-Fi or whether I'm wireless network connection, we can actually see all this access point being given, being provided onto the access points or in the, in the aerial. And of course, what's really important is that over here, we are actually set a configuration of landing pages. So you can actually see that the landing page has been enabled and this is the following script that we have entered into the landing page. So think of every time you're accessing into the wireless access points, whether you're on the airport or whether you're nearby in the school or whatever, every time you access into the access point, there are a authentication page called, called the landing page and you've been, asked to, you've been tasked to access via your username and password. So what's really beautiful is that we can actually combine and merge multiple security platforms to hijack into systems. So moving forward, I actually have Oracle Virtual Machine running. So over here, I got Kyle Linux and I can enter and access into it. So I enter my password to access into Kyle Linux. So over here, I got the browser exploitation framework that is actually running. So if you see on the previous tutorials, you can actually see all the different browser exploitation that I'm running in my environment. And over here, these are the existing online browsers that are running, that are connected to the exploitable JavaScript that is being used to hijack into many of these browsers. And with this running, of course, uh, if we go back to the Wi-Fi Pineapple, we have actually stated this pretty clearly. We have IP address of 172.16424221. So this is actually the, the site that actually gives us the JavaScript. So when we go back here and when we go to, for example, uh, to, to the site that actually gives that IP address. So when we enter 172.16.42.121 followed by port 3000 and then hook.js, we can actually see the JavaScript that is being loaded, or of course being referenced in our point. And this allows us to create a lot of control and functions over the browser. So for example, every time you connect to any of this rope access point that are running within the SSID pool, 
the first thing you get is actually your authentication page. So I'm going to demonstrate this by launching Windows 8.1. So I'm going to start Windows 8.1 and Windows 8.1 is actually connected. If we look at settings, uh, as mentioned, I got two wireless access cards running. So I have 802.11 and 802.11N. So 802.11N is actually connected to the rope access point. So we have the Windows 8.1 configured to actually access into the rope access point. And then when we go back to uh, Browser Exploitation Framework, Call Linux, uh, previously we actually got the IP address uh, 172.1642.225 running. So right now, again, we are booting Windows 8.1 for the first time. It could be any mobile devices, any laptop machines that you're connecting to this access point. And once you connect to the rope access point, the very first thing that will happen is that your internet browser is going to op automatically open up the landing page. So again, uh, this is a slightly more complex tutorial today. So when you go back to the landing page, this will automatically be loaded by the operating system. And then you're going to start a browser, whether it's Internet Explorer, Firefox, Chrome, whichever, and it will load this site. And when we go back to Windows 8.1, now we are logging into the user. And once we log into the user, it will directly connect into the access point. So over here, if you see on the terminal that I have running, so I can actually do a reset and I enter a ifconfig. So the ifconfig is actually 172.16.42.121. And of course, that is the, the JavaScript which is hosted on the Kali Linux so that we have control over the browser. So now that Windows 8.1 is started, we see the Internet Explorer automatically starting up without any action from the user. This is exactly how you connect to wireless access points. So once we are connected, we see wireless at SG being loaded onto the Internet Explorer. So once wireless at SG is connected and loaded on Windows 8.1, going back to the browser exploitation framework on Kali Linux, we see that we actually got the IP address 172.16.42.225 being connected back into the site. So this completes the attack for us to hook a malicious JavaScript onto the browser. So of course, we, there's this endless attacks that we can do and one really simple one that we can go through on browser exploitation framework under the social engineering commands. We can actually go under the pretty tab and within here, you can effortlessly execute a Facebook login command. So of course the user is going to enter maybe, you know, their email address as my email address and then they can enter like a password of whichever password it is. So they thought that this could be one way to authenticate into the, into the access point so that they can get internet accesses. So once they have entered into it, the command has been executed. You can click onto the ID and then of course over here, uh, when you zoom into the video, you can see that there is an answer of the email address as well as the password that is being used to access into the access point. And again, the, the attacks are endless. We can detect extensions that are available. We can detect whether Firebark is running, whether they're real, real player, civil light, and then many of these other likes that you can actually have on the browser. And of course, uh, what's, what's really amazing is there are also exploits that you can actually run on. And we can even bind many of these attacks onto the, onto the site. And this allowed us to actually get reverse shells so that we have metapredable meta running within the host machine, uh, pushing execution onto the system. We have many different attacks available, many different options for us to further the attack onto the browser, whether it's on mobile devices, whether it's on laptops, desktops, we are able to co take complete control over the browser and steal cookies and, and many other attack possible. So you have seen how easy it was to actually set up firstly a rope access point by copying out the SSID in your environment and then furnishing that as a pull in your Wi-Fi Pineapple or wireless auditing platform so that users can then force the authentication into the new access point. And two, you saw how easy it was to set up Kali Linux with browser exploitation framework. Again, we're combining two different attack methodology and then merging them together so that we have a holistic end-to-end -end attack against any users who are within the peripheral. So this allow us to escalate the attack, build up HTML site again, 
you can get really creative as how you would like to gain those accesses. You can copy entire cookies. You can run browser exploitation and gain meter pretty reverse shell that we can possibly discuss on for further subsequent videos on, on the, all these tutorials. And finally, the, the whole purpose of wireless access point is that what else can we do to further the escalation of the attacks? What else can we do to gain control, command and control across all the internet accesses across this, this wireless area? So with the peripheral and the, and the explosion of Internet of Things, they're connected wirelessly. Again, this makes all these attacks even more critical and imperative for us to protect against as, a, as part of the enterprise security program. So hopefully you learned something valuable today. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. And if you like what you just watched, feel free to subscribe to the channel. And thank you so much for watching.